Now before we get to using that stick that I cut in the last segment, um, we're gonna talk about what this video is about and that is moving larger timber. Now before you maybe think this has nothing to do with you at camp, hold on, hold on, because it, it actually really might. So I want you to just think about these two scenarios. The first scenario is um, I'm gonna use our school here in our Bushman course. We fell a really big tree almost every year. And then what we do is we split it out to make boards or benches that you see in some of our other videos and tabletops and things like that. So once the tree's down um, and we start to cut it up into sections, sometimes there's branches that are driven down into the ground and we need to rotate the tree or, or roll the logs and get that thing freed up. So we have a lot of manpower for that, but who wants to get down and dirty and be on their hands and knees trying to push a log? There's an easier way. Now, now just jump ahead a little bit. You're setting up camp, okay? And right where you wanna set up camp, there's a big log laying right down through the campsite and you need to get it out of the way. Maybe by yourself, maybe you have one or two other people with you and you think, hey, um, we're gonna be here for the whole day or the whole week and let's be more bushcrafty today or let's just make our life easier. That's where that stick's gonna come into play. But before we even get to that stick, I wanna show you something else. So just remember, big timber, that's what we're moving around here for whatever the reason be. Big timber, moving, you got it. So let's start out with this thing. This is a big birch that fell a while ago. And let's just per perhaps say that we need to move this thing for some reason, okay? Um, before you go cutting all the branches off, one of the first things you always wanna think about is keeping the branches on to use as levers. So right here we have one of the branches that we have not cut off. So we're gonna keep this thing in place. It's going to allow us to be able to lever this thing in the direction we want. So really quick, really easy. You can see I lift that thing literally with one hand. Now, yeah, am I strong? Do I deadlift over 500? Yeah, but most average person is gonna be able to do this, okay? Even if you had to roll this thing back, it works really well. Now, the problem is if I roll it all the way, that lever is now in the way. So. Now what are we gonna do? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about. So real simple stuff now. We're gonna take that Y branch that we cut. Make sure it's big and sturdy enough, okay? If it's too skinny, too green, it's not gonna work too well. Now, depending on the size timber you're gonna move is gonna depend on how big this Y needs to be. So this can vary. We just grabbed something that was available and good to go. So we got an appropriate size log, something that is in the ground pretty good here that's gonna be a pain to have to keep getting down and pull this thing and dig in. So all you're gonna do with this is you're gonna tuck it underneath the log. You can see it's already starting to move. And then you can really easily start to move this thing, okay? Now, when you get to a point like this, the only downfall with something like this tool, okay, is that you can keep going and you can get the tool pinned underneath this log, which isn't a big deal. I'm gonna let that happen right now. So I'm gonna just step this way and I'm going to just let it slide like that. Now you can see it came out pretty easily, but if it does get pinned, you just gotta crank it sideways and pull it out. The other option, once you get it far enough along like that, is to stick a stick underneath the other side. But I can continue this process then, moving this along, helping with my foot to get this thing going in a direction in which I'm going to need. Get and pull this, and then we would just keep on working. You can also use this as a hook to pull and now I'm making really quick work with a very simple three cuts and a Y branch moving larger timbers around camp I'm not bending over especially people with bad backs um, this is gonna work really really well to be able to move some stuff out of the way to set up your camp the way you want it so there you go, an old time log roller. I was watching a few things recently that got me on the kick of doing this video. One was some um, Colonial Williamsburg videos that they were using this same technique to get big logs up and over and down into the pit because they were gonna pit saw and make boards. And then I was also watching a video of Dick Prenicky and he had something very similar when he was building his cabin that he was rolling and pulling logs with. So I thought, ah, I definitely gotta do this one for everybody because it is truly a back saver and it's gonna just save you from having to get down, dig your hands underneath logs, pull, and uh, really make a mess of things. So a couple few easy cuts 
cut that Y branch and you'll have yourself a log roller for whatever you're gonna need. So another tool for the toolbox, definitely give this one a shot when you're out next time, you gotta move them big logs and you're by yourself and uh, you find a perfect campsite except there's logs in the way. It's gonna work absolutely wonderful. So this was Dan Wolak, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video as always. Check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. Until next video, stay in the woods.